Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Scarf. This is a cool little puzzle platformer that I've had on my wish list for a while where you have like a little scarf friend and it helps you do platforming challenges and your character's like human or something. It seems really, really cool. It seems really, really pretty. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, it does say continue because I did hop in to try and test some settings out and everything. So yeah, let's start a new game. I didn't really, I didn't really see anything. Um, I skipped like the intro cutscene just so I could get to walking around and seeing how the game ran and everything. I'm gonna be honest, my thalassophobia kicked in there a little bit for a second, mind you. And oh my god, her character's naked! I love the little little the little bit of hair that's in front of your face, like your little your little bangs. And yes, we are naked. We're in the nude. So this is our uh, scarf friend. I believe it's a dragon. Yeah, it certainly looks like a dragon. Looks like we tripped. We can't be tripping. Hi, Dargan friend. How are you doing? Instantly, very pretty world. I love the design for this character. This is actually one of the things that like initially made me interested in the game. I'm not sure what that giant void in your chest is, but our dragon seems happy, so hi. You can pet the dragon in Scarf. Well, maybe not. The little icon showed petting the dragon, but I didn't get to pet the dragon, I don't think. It flew away before I could. Here you go, Dargan. Do you want this? Oh, now, okay, now can I pet you? Or you monch? Num nums for my dragon scarf. Ooh, and there we go, now we're friends. Yeah, this is the character the design her I knew. The body touches the light flesh. Her story is heard. Ages ago, she was happy. Mom was with her. Always. The whole cosmos was their playground. Until they attacked. They shredded her mom to pieces. She screamed and screamed. But they didn't stop. Until mom was no more. Then they used her mom's threats to escape from the beautiful cosmos and create portals to new worlds. She crossed the portal, trying to stop them. But it was too late. The cruel ones were gone. Mom was gone. Home was gone. She was alone, calling for Mom. Mom never returned. But now, now she has hope again. Someone has arrived. Fresh ears to hear the devastating tale. A being of light.
kind and gentle. Someone who can help you. Well, that's horrifying. They came and ripped your mother apart? Also, yes, apparently our Dargan is a girl Dargan. But they came and ripped your mother apart and made uh, portals out of her, which look like they lead to a Spyro dimension. They they really look like the portals in Spyro the Dragon. Okay. Interesting. And horrifying. At the same time. Okay, we could move around. I wasn't sure. Hey, there's some of the little shits right now. Hey! Why are you just gonna rip somebody apart, huh? Look at them. Unrepident. They don't even care. Okay, is this like a... hub world of sorts? Is that like a hole in the clouds? A big circular hole in the clouds. Is there anything else? Oh, I'm sure me running through that grass is doing great for the bitrate on YouTube. <clears throat> What'd you just steal? Made little armbands out of it. Is that a piece of my mom? Or the dragon's mom, not my mom. My mom and the dragon's mom, totally different people. If I even have a mom. Maybe you can call the ocean my mom. So you stole something from over there, which looks like it was like powering that portal. And now you're making something over here. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Think about what you've done. My dragon just, like, ate your soul. I don't think that was a soul, though. I think I think since it turned into, like, little armbands, it's supposed to be a part of the dragon mommy. Since you turned into a scarf, so you're, like, made of fabric or something? Uh, X? Oh. <clears throat> okay, and you guys ran in there for whatever reason. So, those things lit up, so I guess that's what these symbols on the various gates are supposed to mean. Is, uh, that's how many of each of them are there, and I imagine we gotta collect all of these things, and that's the end of the game, maybe? Possibly? Possibly. Got a call on my phone there, had to answer that really quickly. Alright, so yeah, see there's like one there, there's three there, and these two lit up when these dorks ran into it. Also, that one's over there depressed because I stole its toy. Yeah, well maybe if you didn't play with toys that were made out of people's parents, we wouldn't be having this problem now, would we? Jeez. All because they wanted to explore different worlds, access the multiverse or whatever. Okay. This is our first level, I guess. Oh, hey, birds. Hey, birds. You keep doing you, birds. Is there anything back here? I always feel like I have an incessant need to search every nook and cranny of anything to see if I can find secrets. 
But I don't know if this game has secrets yet, but you always gotta check. Can I climb up this? No. Oh. Hey. Oh, is this a secret? Uh Okay. What what are you holding? Is that like a It looks like you're holding water and it's like pushing the water back that's around you, so it creates like a little bubble for yourself in the water? Weird. Weird, very very weird. I also just realized how long has my mouse been there? Did that just appear when I pulled that up. I hope so. I hope my mouse hasn't been on screen this whole time. Okay, no. It, it, it just came up when I pulled that up. <clears throat> cool. Because I just tried to move my mouse and it just moved the screen. So it was only when that came up. Because, yeah, I'm playing with controller right now. So. Hello, weird symbols. Don't like how dark it's getting. Where the waves sang, three pieces of darkness were waiting for me. The waves sing. I mean, I guess you mean this place, right? <clears throat> is that a hint towards a secret or something? And also, who the hell is that? I have no idea who that would be. Mini scarf pieces? <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of Weaving Tides, almost. Another really neat game that I played that used, like... That one wasn't really scarves, but it was, like, fabric. So, I have like three of these, I think. There's like something over there. I thought it was a glitched out texture at first, but I'm like, no, I think that's intentional. What's the deal with you? You look important. Oh, there's, yeah, there's five pips. Yeah, we have to get, so I only have two of these and we probably have to get five on our thingy before it'll work. <coughs> okay. Well, I see two immediately, and there's the third one. There's one of the little characters. I gotta remember I can sprint. Hey, you. I'm coming for you. Yeah, that's right. Look at me. Be afraid. You're next. Whoa, what is that? That looks like it would fill in the little hole in my chest here, actually. My little void. Oh. That wasn't the jump I could make, it seems. Huh. All right, well, yeah, I guess I have to get up there before I can get to that spot, because it looks like once I'm up there, I can just drop down. So that was like a red herring to get that item. Maybe. Boom. <clears throat> I want to know what this big red orb is over here. Hello, big red orb. I think that's the save icon that popped up down there in the right, too, so at least I know when the game saves. Because I don't think you can manually save this game. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to spook you. Ooh, wings? What does that do? Double jump! Yes! My favorite upgrade in, like, any game. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I always call it the best Metroidvania upgrade, because it's particularly useful in those, but... Obviously, any game, double jump is dope. Okay, so now I could have gotten over there with double jump, I think. What does this little tombstone do? <clears throat> I don't know. Seems like it might actually be like a whistle stone? Where you have like a rock and you have a little hole through it for the wind to go through? Oh, oh no. Why, 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 why? What? Uh. My dragon got separated from me. This isn't a Super Mario Sunshine moment where my flood's stolen, is it? Am I gonna have to do platforming with just my little naked body? She tried to cage that rebellion, to seize that freedom. Pyramid is waiting. Tried to cage that rebellion, seize that freedom. Who is who is she? 
And who is that running? I'm guessing by freedom you mean whoever made it said the portals didn't work so that they couldn't go to different worlds? But I'm not sure. Because that looked like one of the little one of the little little people we've been seeing run around. Okay, and that's what gets my, my dragon to come back. Cool. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. And we are water soluble, so we gotta be careful. Even though we were born in the ocean. I was born in the ocean, molded by the ocean. Alright. So there's someone that doesn't want them to be free, wants them to be trapped here. Interesting. Hello, do your little dance. Oh, hey, it's that little thing we saw them holding in the painting. And you're taking it. Does it work how I thought? It sure does. That is totally what it does. It, like, makes a little bubble around you. Reminds me of the anglerfish boss fight in Psychonauts. Alright. Hey, you. I'm gonna let my dragon eat your soul. You had made a little necklace out of it. The other person made wristbands, you made a necklace. Weird. I wonder if you get to choose what you make out of it. Interesting. Alright, well, we gotta get my, my dragon friend's mom back, so... Sorry guys, I understand you want to be free and everything, but maybe you shouldn't rip a person apart while they're screaming to do that. You know? You ever thought of that? Who knows though, maybe we'll find out that the dragon... the dragon mom wasn't uh, the nicest or something. We don't have the full context for the situation yet, but I'm thinking these people are uh, maybe in the wrong at the moment, the current information that I have. Do I need this anymore? I can't jump with it, so... Guess not. Oh hey, there's another one of those. I don't think I can do anything with it yet. I think these are just meant to show me that there's, um... One of the memory things nearby, because I couldn't interact with the tombstone before. Hello, are you supposed to be that gold? Okay, you are. Oh yeah, you're like summoning the door, or whatever. So you can like materialize things as long as you have a piece of the dragon. Because you summoned trees earlier too. Okay, and the game wants me to go that away. Is that something I can do with a double jump? Maybe. Let's go up here first though, because this has a uh, little collectible, I think. Uh... I don't think I have what I need here. This looks like a grappling hook. Okay, we'll put a pin in that for now. Hmm. Well, the camera showed us up here. So I'm guessing we need to go up there. Where are you going, dragon? Get back on my neck. What are you doing? Hey, come here. Why did you leave me? I'll, I'll pet you. Okay, you can pet the dragon in Scarf. Good to know. So... What does this do? Oh! Okay, so I probably can't make that with the double jump. I probably need that and... You look like a box? Yep. Okay. Wonder if you also could just leave the turtle on here. Maybe. Hi, turtle friends. Hi. Oh, you can! <laughs> can I see you? No, you won't let me see you. I can use you as a, like, thing, though. Huh. Well, then. Well, thanks for being a platform. So you can use either one of them. Weird. Turtle friend might have gotten up and walked away, though. <clears throat> yeah. If I'd put turtle friend on, turtle friend would have left. All right, good to know. Oh, look, a baby turtle friend. No. Okay, what's going on down here? More ocean section. As long as nothing tries to eat me, I'm fine. 
Just don't try to eat me, please. Remember, it was the wildest thing to find out that starfish are, like, carnivorous? I was always like, oh, starfish are so cool and cute and everything. Yeah, they, they eat things. Also, the underside of them is horrifying. They're weird little monsters. If they weren't so normalized in society, they would probably be seen as, like, weirdo aliens. The ocean has some of the creepiest things in it. And that's part of why it terrifies me. If you've never seen a goblin shark, look up a goblin shark. And thank me for your nightmares. Okay. I'm kind of going really quickly through this area. I feel like they wouldn't hide anything secret in an area like this, but maybe I'm wrong. I can't get over there because I can't jump, so... I feel like a section like this would be pretty linear. You wouldn't need to search every nook and cranny for secrets. Oh. Well, hello, moving platform. <laughs> There's a crab! Hey, crab. Little crab friends. Oh, this looks like a nuts platforming challenge. Okay, we got a lot more of these to deal with. Oh, what are you? Huh? Oh, do you expand the range of the bubble to encompass the whole area? Uh, that ye do. I see. Cool. Cool, cool. I like it, I like it. Alright, so now we have our normal abilities back. I can jump up here. Mm hmm Huh. Okay, we got... some things here. I'm thinking I need to get you on top of the platforms? No, I don't think there's a way to do that. Also, don't you look different than that other one? I don't think that other one had like this, like, bullseye. Am I supposed to put something on you? Oh. You're bouncy. Huh. Why would I need you? Couldn't I just... jump right up here and... Yeah. I'm on here. Weird. Huh. Well, could I, couldn't I also just put you over here and jump up to the platform this way, skipping the entire platforming challenge? I sure could. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if you're needed for, like, a secret or something? It just feels weird that you're here. There's, like, two ways to get up to this spot. Odd. Alright, whatever. Let's run. Alright, got another one of the... I'm gonna choose to call it a tidal orb. I don't know. It sounds fitting. Even though this doesn't really have anything to do with tides. <laughs> Since it just pushes water back away from me. Uh... Hi? Box and lever. I'm gonna go to the lever first. See what that does. Bang. Where is that? Oh, we're draining the water from in here. Okay. Well then. Let's go over here. And see what this is. So, oh. Oh, we've lowered the water enough. I can... Yeah, this is one of the boosty ones. I can use this to just jump up there. Right? Can't believe we got Sonic uh, Sonic spring pads in here. Not what I expected. And now we're back outside. Cool. Neato, neato, neato. Ah, no, please! Oh, I'm water... So uh, he doesn't even... They don't, they don't even die. They just kind of get sad. And go, oh. <laughs> Look like they're about to cry. <laughs> Poor little bud. Oh. I really hate water. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, those fall. Okay. Good to know. Ooh, a giant spring pad. 
cool. Man, what a pretty game. I just find myself looking at the environments a lot. It's a very, very gorgeous little game. It was one of the main reasons I uh, kind of kept an eye on it and had it on my wish list for so long, because it just seems so pretty. And a pretty neat idea, too, with the scarf and everything. I love seeing indie games do just little interesting concepts. Although I believe the developer for this is like a subsidiary of THQ Nordic. So they at least have like a larger company behind them. Uh huh. Not that that's anything more than a name to put on it and maybe a little bit of extra backing though. Okay. Hello? Bridge. Oh, and there's the... Mm, do I have to somehow get those out of the water? I'm guessing so. There's a little orb right there. So I have to somehow get those things out of the water, probably by... making the water come back so that they float up to the top, if I had to guess? Huh. Alright, well the game... I just saw the game quick saved down there, so we'll probably go ahead and end this first episode off here. This has been a pretty neat little adventure so far. I'm really, really enjoying it, actually, so... I'm happy it's everything I wanted it to be. Just very cool. I love the character design we have here. Still don't know what that giant hole in our chest is about, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. And just the idea of having a dragon scarf is cool. People that have watched me for a while know I love these kinds of just atmospheric puzzle platformers. So, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more Scarf.